All right, let's welcome in Frankie Crotto to our Trade Center Lounge. And Frankie, as far as deadline stories go, you might have the craziest of them all. I'm going to call it <laughs> deadline dentist drama. Self-inflicted, though. Which I is did it to even myself. wilder to me. So tell the people how this scenario even came about. I was due for a cleaning, like a dental cleaning. And just to give you some context of how my year had gone, I was playing for the Leafs. I ba barely, barely played. I think I had played two games in four or five months okay. and I had finally cleared waivers. I went down to the Marlies and I was actually playing and I thought about it. I'm like, this is actually a great situation for me. I'm going to play a little bit in the AHL this year, get my confidence back. Things were going really well. I was playing for Sheldon Keefe at the time and I thought, all right, I'm going to be a UFA at the end of the year and we'll, we'll just go somewhere else next year. And I was due for a, a cleaning, like a dental cleaning. I booked it on trade deadline day at 2 p.m., I don't know why I did this, but I sat in the dental chair and I specifically asked the dental hygienist, can you please put TSN on? I want to watch Trade Center so just in case something happens. You're sitting back in the dental chair. You got Trade Center on the television. Yeah. Just getting a regular clean. And okay. you know what? Like we're, we're doing the cleaning and it's like 257, 258 and we're done. And I make my way to the, the front desk, to the lobby area to start paying. Mm -hmm. And I got a text right away from a buddy of mine, Peter Holland former teammate he had got yep. traded earlier in the year and he texted me and he said wow that's pretty crazy you're gonna get to play with Sid something along those lines <laughs> something about Sid I said, I said what are you talking about man because you have and no then idea I have no idea and then a couple more texts came in and then finally I go on Twitter and of course I had seen the tweet that I got traded to Pittsburgh and I was literally like settling up at the front desk of the dentist like just got out of the chair just watched the last hour of Trade Center in the dentist chair. And next thing you know, I'm going to Pittsburgh. That is wild. So it was Pierre Lebrun's tweet. They're going from Toronto to Pittsburgh. But let's rewind to the fact that you said this was self-inflicted. You scheduled this dentist appointment. Okay. What was going through your mind there? Because you knew you were on the fringe. You knew this could happen. So you're like, yes, trade deadline. That's the day I'm going to schedule maybe, a cleaning. Maybe, Walk us through the mentality. Okay, maybe somewhere in the back of, the, back of my mind, yeah. I said, there is a chance I could get traded. So if this is my last day in Toronto for a little while, I want some nice chicken. I want to get, like, I I wanna get this cleaning in. Let's be <laughs> honest. It might have been past, like, you know, this, they tell you to come back every six months. Oh, yeah. There's a chance that we had already been past that six months. I'm not proud of that. I was just I'm having a conversation with someone recently. Are you supposed to get a cleaning twice a year, once a year, three times a I year now? I think they tell you every six months. So I was probably a little bit past that okay. so I, it was it was time it was wow. time and, and i mean maybe the dental chair was a bit of a distraction throughout it all as well to keep your mind off things maybe no. it's a painful distraction though i don't know why anyone would would do that to themselves i mean at least it wasn't a root canal or something just yeah. a, a typical cleaning well that would have been worse what if they found a cavity and they were like you got to come back i can't come back yeah you're like no no i'm off to pittsburgh i gotta yeah, find send a new this dentist to pennsylvania <laughs> man okay and then like what is it like as a player for that day I mean, you're in the dental chair i don't know for a lot of people the dentist is the absolute worst place to be so you're really subjecting yourself to some self-inflicted yeah. pain on that day we were at practice that is, day. is there anxiety though are you are you feeling stressed or do you just know it's out of your controls there's nothing really you can do sit you know back in the dental chair <laughs> pop on trade center and relax pretty much it is out of your control you know what's funny we were at practice that day and i was usually one of the guys that gets to the arena relatively early mm -hmm. so you get a chance to like put on the television in the gym and i put it on tsn i'm like oh we gotta we gotta see what's going on today and one of the trainers was like Maybe we don't have to have that on. Like, maybe we, <laughs> yeah. we don't need the distractions. Right. Guys need to work out. Guys need to focus on their day. And it is true. Hmm. Like, it's a practice day. There's games coming up. You do need to focus. You know, it is a little bit of a distraction that day. But um, it's, it's a normal day with the chance that you should probably keep your phone on loud and somewhere near you because mm. you could get a call. Yeah, and it could happen while you're in the dental chair and then you find out after when you're paying. Pierre Lebrun saying you're going from Toronto to Pittsburgh. Thanks for stopping by the lounge. One of the wildest deadline stories. Lindsay's but... Lounge. We had Drager Cafe. <laughs> this is Lindsay's this is Lounge? Lindsay's Lounge. Okay, I like the new name. Thanks for the recommendation. <laughs>